redo of a video. My video got corrupted and I had somebody who actually wanted to watch the video. So I'm going to redo a review. They were asking me how practical was the body armor and what what kind of usage I got out of it. Okay, the only usage I got out of this is when I used it when I was doing that type of work. And I only did that, it was about six years ago, and I haven't touched these since. They've been sitting in my closet. Uh, when I was doing security with the Department of Fence and uh, working with contract security through the DOD, um, I needed this because in the type of areas and the type of where I was going and what I did required something of this level. You know, and since I've been since I got out of that work and now I'm back doing back in the US doing police and security work, I haven't touched this or even looked at it. It's been sitting in my closet for six years. You know, I pulled it out because I saw a video, gave my opinions of what I thought of it. It's excellent, it does the job, but realistically you have no use for it unless you're in those type of conditions. So it's it's heavy. It's not practical, you know, for being over in the U.S. doing security. It's just you're not going to use it unless you're on a SWAT team. And even then you're going to be provided that by whatever entity you're working for. You know, I came across this and I got this because the entity that I worked for worked with this particular corporation or company and provided us this by deducting it out of our paycheck every pay period until it was paid off and I was able to get this. My particular company that I worked for provided us with a soft body armor but gave us the opportunity to buy this. I used the soft body armor for a little bit and then when I had fi when I put myself in a financial position where I could afford this I went and got it and that's how I was able to get it you know. It, at that time this stuff was over two thousand dollars you know and uh, I got a discount off of that and I got to get it deducted out of my paycheck at that particular time. And uh, I used it and it worked well, you know. Fortunately, I never took a hit. But, you know, if I did, I had the protection to save my life, you know, at that time and under those conditions. Um, and that's why I say soft body armor in the U.S., working security is the best way to go. And I'm not going to say law enforcement because realistically... You would not be providing this if you work for law enforcement. If you work for sheriff, police, marine police, state police, any type of ent entity, park ranger, game warden, any kind of law enforcement official in the U.S. is going to be provided body armor by the, by the entity they're working for. And you're going to have to use that body armor because the city, the, city, the county, the state... Whatever is backing that entity up is has an insurance company, and that insurance company is going to say, your guys need to use this, and they're covered under this. And they have to provide their people with body armor up, up to the expiration date, and then they have to give them new stuff when it expires. That's just the way it is. That's why I'm directing this towards security. Because a lot of security companies do not provide body armor. You have to provide it yourself, even on the DOD level. Sometimes I dealt with companies that didn't provide this stuff, you know, and I've dealt with companies that did or gave the option to get it. But in the security world in the U.S., you're not going to need this. My suggestion is get a get a soft body armor and get K30 plates. K30 plates are the way to go for the cheapest way to protect yourself. And uh, I'm going to show you what these things do. Hopefully I can get it to focus in. And this is this is going on the specs of having a second chance vest backed up with this K30 plate. But uh, on the bottom on the left side, three lines up, 30-06, 300 Winchester, 7.62, NATO, 7.62. This stops a lot of rifles, a lot of rifle rounds. These are good to have. You put two of these side by side in your vest, you've just upgraded your vest to a pretty substantial uh, product that's going to keep you alive. You know, the cheaper way to do this is buy four K30 plates. Most of these vests have inserts. Uh, disregard that insert. Create your own insert going straight across the vest and put two of these in there. Two of them will fit. And depending on how big your chest is, you know, two of them will fit. And at least it will cover your heart and your lungs completely, you know. And, and a way to bridge that gap where you have these side by side, throw this, overlap it in the middle to where, you know, it's going to have protection 
and you're going to get that. And to do the same on the back, and you'll basically have upgraded a normal vest, something very similar to this, but not quite as good, but good enough to stop most of your rifle rounds, and it's going to keep you alive. You know, that's the cheaper way to go about doing it, because these are friggin' ridiculously priced. I think they're cheaper now, but, you know, you probably... If you want to take the cheap way out, I've seen these on eBay going for as little as $10, you know. So $40, you can have complete full coverage of your chest and a soft body armor rig. Um, going back to it, these are just more practical in the U.S. and more practical for everyday use. That's why they're issued by police, law enforcement, sheriff, and all these, they use soft body armor. The only people that use stuff like this in the U.S. are SWAT teams, special teams, CERT teams, teams that are going in that are going to be facing heavy fire but these are all practicality war war materials this is for the war this is for heavy gunfire this is that's what it's for the weight the uh you know it's just not practical and if you try and wear this for 12 hours you'll understand that or even eight hours you'll see this is heavy you know you're going to see how heavy it is and how it sucks to wear it you know but you do it to keep yourself alive that's why everybody uses these in the U.S. You know, this is the practical way to go. But uh, soft body armor, you know, uh, PACA, Second Chance, there's a bunch of companies out there. But uh, that's just my suggestion to you. Get soft body armor. If you're really worried about a rifle, back it up with a K30 plate. And I'm sure there's a ceramic version of this. So you can get ceramic versions of this and that. I think they even have bigger versions of this where you only need one. You know, this is this is older technology, but I still have it because it's still of use. You know, I still use it. I might throw this in my vest, you know. And uh, I have the softer versions that are not as good as these, but, you know, that's just hopefully that answers your questions. You know, it's just these are not practical. They were They were practical for that use, and they're not of use to me anymore. They've been sitting in a closet for six years. You know, I just don't have a use for them anymore. This is more practical. And that's just my opinion. And uh, hopefully that helps you out. Take it easy.